Welcome back. In this chapter, we're going to focus on supervise, uh, supervisor tools. Here, we're going to talk about some of the report, describe the dashboard of the reporting that are available, some of the uh, default settings or pre-built template that you can use for your reporting dashboard. We'll talk about how to create and manage alert, as well as activate and deactivate your agents. We will also look at uh, the call that are in progress in your uh, interactions. First of all, uh, customer usually expects to have a good experience when they call your companies for help, whether the help could be simply getting information about the product or uh, regarding post support related to product that they may have purchased. If the customer experience is not as good as expected, then uh, such as like a waiting time could be too long to reach, uh, reach an agent or being transferred to a wrong department because they have, you know, someone misconfigured the menu, for example, or being on put on hold for a long period of time. A customer can sometimes hesitate to recommend your corporations because company because of the experience that they face due to your contact center. Supervisor usually have tools that allows them to identify the root cause of those customer frustrations or as well as the efficiency in the organizations. Now, using those tools, supervisor can then implement the necessary changes that may improve the contact center performance. Sometimes it could be simply to retrain the employees with a better uh, customer uh, engagement uh, uh, behavior, for example. The reporting and analytic tools uh, in Genesis Cloud can help you identify the problem areas and introduce changes for better support the organizations to achieve their goal of desired customer experience. Now, in order to do that, you need to be able to have a clear picture of your environment. What is happening with your queue? What is, how many calls are being dropped? How many calls are sitting in a queue or even contact center operations? Genesis Cloud provide reports. Report provide historical information allowing you to review data for a specific period of time regarding your agent queues contact center operations. Reviewing this performance history may help you prevent such as repeating mistakes uh, that you, know, you wanna avoid so that the customer does not think that your company is, is incompetent. Now, when you log into your analytical tool, you're gonna have something called a dashboard. A software dashboard is very similar to a dashboard on a car, which usually has multiple gauge, uh, you know, uh, screens or maybe buttons or gauges, et cetera. It basically displays the real-time information regarding your health and performance of your automobile system. Similar, like, similarly, you have something in Dashboard in Genesis Cloud as well. It allows you to see the health of your contact center as in a real time as possible. Genesis Cloud has a multiple dashboard that allows you to monitor the real-time system information for your queue activity or service levels, agent activity, interaction activity, and any other key performance indicator or often known as a KPI. There are also dashboards for monitoring the quality, evaluations, as well as outbound dialing activity within Genesis Cloud. So the type of reports that are available depending of course of what, what you're trying to monitor. Now there are a couple of different reports available uh, from the report menu. Yeah, as you can see from here on the left hand side, you got the activity reports, you have agent uh, report, call report, campaign report, daily report, and etc. Each of course will pro each one of these reports will provide more granular information about the type of report that you have selected. If you are going to select, let's say, an agent report, an agent report will provide historical data for one or more agents. Most summarize the data for a specific period of time such as metrics for aggregated per day uh, it does shows several shows uh, several show details regarding the agent activity and evaluations now the q report which basically shows you the metric that are aggregated by half hour interval or by day or by month depending on your report now these reports are the one that is used most often by the supervisor or manager to track your contact center performance if you want to monitor what activities going on in your, with your outbound dialing, then you want to use the outbound dialing report, where you can use several reports to track the success of your outbound dialing campaign. 
Now, they aggregate the result by half hour interval or by day. Now, once the campaign report daily uh, details, one campaign report will details every call attempt for a campaign during the date range that you specified in your report configurations. Then you have the communication report. Now, communicate report. The two type of report that are not based on the contact center activity is on the system, but rather on the system activity. One report that tracks every status change for a designated user for over a specific data uh, date range. For example, uh, if they're registered or they're unregistered, their phone, etc. And other one will list it, list details for every interaction that will passes through the Genesis Cloud during the designated day. Now that could be simply ma them making a call for inbound and outbound, but nothing to do with the contact center itself. So communicate report has two reports that are nothing to do with the contact center, but rather more focus on the system activity. Here is an example of agent report metrics. You can see that with a particular dis uh, date range, you can have a couple of information about all the agents, um, the date range that you provide, and of course, all the activities that are happening on that particular range. And this is going to be for voice ACD. So using that report, you can collect date data that you may be useful for supervisor when giving an agent feedback about the performances. So if you know in a contact center, you may have certain performance review of your agent and you want to talk to the agent and say, hey, um, you, you're not on a call for a long period of time or you're taking frequent breaks or you are having some issues, uh, you know, let's discuss and see what we can do. Part of the job of a manager and supervisor is not just about monitoring the agent, but also giving the agent some feedback of how to help them do their job properly. A good managers will always look at the report and try to help the agent to improve themselves before taking any derogatory actions. So you can get, uh, for example, if you want to collect information about the queue, you can use a, a queue metric interval report. A queue metric interval report helps contact center managers analyze the volume of interactions during either half hour interval or a day and the metric which define whether they have enough agent to handle a call. So if a manager is doing a capacity planning and they say, hey, do I need to hire more agent or do I need to add more agent into my shift from uh, different queues? This is the report that you want to run. The report ran will gen be generated based on selected language in a specific interf in, in interface settings. If you want to learn more details about different type of report, there is a dedicated uh, chapter reporting and analytic and an analytics. Just take a look at that video in uh, in our study kit. Performance dashboard basically allows you to view the KPI of your contact center. Now you can access the performance dashboard by going to the performance menu and the dashboard. So let's go take a look at in our lab how it looks like. So when you are in there, if you go to the performance, you'll see there are a couple of options you have. You got the workspace. So this is where you can see all your interactions. You can access by evaluation, outbound campaign, interday monitoring, real-time errors, uh, historical or even hist uh, historical shrinkage. So these are a couple of reports that are available to you. Now, if you go to the report sections, these are uh, this is where you will have all the reports. You can click on add new. These are the reports that you can generate. And as I say that there are many different reports available. It's not going to be possible for us to go through each one of them individually. Now, Genesis announced that it does give you an update that if the, uh, what the Genesis is planning to do is planning to depreciate the, perform uh, depreciate the performance report in the future. So by the time you are probably uh, looking at it, it might be already under uh, something called, uh, sorry, uh, performance workspace. So the dashboard is now moved into the workspace. So this is what the dashboard used to look like, but now it's been changed to a workspace, okay? So performance dashboard allows you to create a custom dashboard to display the necessary metric and performance data about your contact center. You can create the dashboard about queues, wrap up widget, uh, wrap up code, flows, outbound, um, uh, outbound flows, using the metric and the chart widget.
So you can customize any of these options that you want and you can add them or remove them based on your needs. And using the agent status widget, you can see the current status of your required agent. Uh, the, uh, so also there is an option to add a web content widget, widget that allows you to uh, view online content such as streaming uh, audio or videos or real-time chat or you know news feed. Maybe you want to pull information from Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter. So as a supervisor, you can configure this view to suit your needs. So these are something very highly customizable. So here you can see that I can add a new tab and you can customize that. I can bring the uh, agent uh, performance. Uh, these are some of the agent performance that are available. Uh, I can select the agent that I want to uh, you know, collect the data for. So again, take a look at our lab guide. We'll show you how to use the performance report uh, as well as uh, uh, re reporting for various uh, agents. Now, pre-built dashboard, there are many pre-built views that you that you can use that might be useful to you. If you need to view a performance of a specific queue or a compare a performance between two queues or more, you can use the queue view. So queues, queues view allows you to kind of compare the information from multiple queues to see, hey, does one queue has more uh, per, is uh, being affected more than the other queue or not? You can view the current and past performance of a queue that are aggregated by an interval, day, week, or month by using this view. So you can click on the queue name and drill down more details about that. Queue activity view, uh, this is a real-time performance for all your queues. So if you wanna look at overall, like not a particular queue, but overall behavior of all the queue activity, so this view, this this particular view will give you overview about all the queue that you have and their behavior activities, like how many calls are in that interact, how many interactions in the queue, how many agents are in the queue, etc. So this will be very useful if you want to get an overall view of, about all the queues that you might have. Interaction view, which basically under the performance menu that lets you view all in progress and completed interactions. Now, the, there are individual views for each type of interactions, or you can see all by selecting the all filter. You can view the data by interval, day, day week, or even month. So you can click on the interaction view to, that brings up the detailed view, which allows you to monitor the live conversation or access a recording and other data for a completed call. So if you have a call recording is enabled, you will be able to click on a specific conversation and then re, uh, kind of hear the recording if you want to. Alert management, you can, in uh, Genesis Cloud, if you want to set a specific alert, you, you want to use the alert management. You can set up an alert to notify when a statistic enters a specific threshold set by the use, end users or user defined. Now, within a particular bound, and is no longer within the range of value, for example. Now, alert can be set on any interaction type to notify the supervisor or other designated person. When an interaction, uh, when, when the interaction does not meet the thrust or uh, criteria, such as going beyond a specific duration, or when an agent transfer more than the average number of interaction or any other metric that is important to you, you could generate an alert for that. The alert inbox icon is located on the, the, the right end of the toolbar. But keep in mind, by the time you watch this video, that information might be changed, some, might move its location. A number indicator that shows how many unread alert that are available in your inbox so that you can take actions onto that. So right here, you will see right in this area where alert it will be visible to you. So if you want to click on that, it will take you to that, uh, all the alert that are currently generated. Now to view and manage alert, you can view and manage alert in your alert inbox. To open the alert inbox, click on the little alert icon. So let's go take a look at how it looks like. So if there is an alert, it will be right above available here and all the alert will be listed here. At this moment, there is no alert available for us. Uh, however, you can always check the in any alert that might you might have if you see an alert and you read it or you take an you took an action you can mark the alert as red or keep it unread so that someone will pick up that alert 
you could generate a rule that say that if this type of alert comes in, take certain actions. Uh, for example, I could do a query uh, based on an agent. I can say if the Faisal Khan uh, answered the call or let's say, I don't know, maybe we have a transfer, handled interaction voice more than 50. If for some reason Faisal Khan has answered more than 50 calls, send an alert so we can like maybe give him a $20 coffee uh, team card, something like that. Kind of like, you know, motivate the employee to do their job, for example. So alert management can allows you to monitor your existing alert and also create rules so that you can take, you know, certain actions. It could be sent an email, could be uh, taken, uh, you know, and notify a manager or etc. You can create a new alert by going to the rule, create a new alert, and then you can define some rules that meet your uh, information. And if those conditions are met, you can then notify a particular user, which could, which could be the manager, could be the supervisor. You could send an SMS or you could send an email. Now you can set, uh, once you define the rules in the conditions that meet your requirement, you can go to a particular queue that you want to apply this rule up to. For example, you can say that this is rule name is customer service and queue name is a customer service as well. Now you can notify the managers or supervisor depending on who you want to notify. You can select the delivery method, either SMS or email. Email most likely will be free, but SMS might cost you certain SMS credit. You can also activate agent in a particular queue. So supervisor can activate, deactivate agent for uh, queues for agent who are already member of those queue. While in the queue stat, while a, while in on queue status, agent receive interaction for the activated queue to which they belong. There are several ways a supervisor can activate and deactivate queues for an agent. So here are a couple of ways to do that. Either using the classic queue view, you can go to the agent performance view, you can go to the agent activity detail view, or sorry, queue agent activity details view, my apology, queue activity details view or queue agent detail view. So these are some of the area where you can go in in order to activate or deactivate an agent from a particular queue. Now, keep in mind, agent must belong to that particular queue in it already. You just basically make them either active or deactivate, deactivated. Now to monitor, you can use a monitor in progress interaction. Monitor in progress basically allows supervisor to gather important data and insight that will help them create a positive customer experience. Data that are collected through the monitoring interactions will provide information that are needed to set quality metrics that will promote a positive customer experience as well as area that need of improvement. So using the in monitor in progress, you can probably gather data, say, hey, we need to train this particular agent to better handle the customers, or we need to uh, maybe increase number of channel on this area, or we may need to respond faster on this type of product uh, queue. In progress interaction can be monitored from any view. Now here's a couple of views that you can use: interaction view, agent indicator interaction via detail view, or queue activity detail view. So you can see that uh, report uh, reporting and monitoring perform uh, tools that are available to Genesis can provide you a lot of data, a lot of utilities or dashboard that you can use as a manager or supervisor to collect data regarding your organization and create a better experience contact center uh, uh, process. It could be retraining the agent, re uh, rerouting maybe calls in the appropriate queue. Maybe you wanna collect, uh, make you know agent activate or deactivate to increase your uh, number of agent particular queue, et cetera. So these are some of the tools available. Take a look at our lab guide to show you how we can use to create those rules and create for uh, create a report for our organizations. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.